As you can imagine, I was screaming bloody murder. And she kept calling me a sissy for having too much pain. Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. While I was a training over 30 years ago as an intern, I had a horrible ingrown nails on both of my big toes. My co-intern at the time removed my nails and burned them with chemicals. It worked out quite well, however, while she was doing it, as you can imagine, I was screaming bloody murder. And she kept calling me a sissy for having too much pain. Obviously, we didn't know what we're doing, and she did a great job overall, but I had so much pain during the injection time and after the procedure. So over the last 30 years, I really tried hard to learn how to minimize the pain of the injection and the procedure for my patients. In today's video, I'm going to review some of the most viewed ingrown nail videos on my channel. I'll take a closer look at a regular ingrown nail procedure and two different types of permanent ingrown nail procedures. Be sure to stay tuned until the very end to view all different types of ingrown nail procedures and how I minimize the pain. Let's get right into it. Our first video is called Beefy Ingrown Nail. I already took uh, part of what we call a granuloma, which is a big piece that was sitting on top. This is a reaction of our body to protect ourselves from an invading uh, of the nail. Okay, so it got really big and it got really beefy, I call it. And then now I cut the nail in and then I put my uh, hemostat in there and then pull the nail out like that. As you can see, the nail was really big. It's really big. You can see all that was underneath that big uh, beefy ingrown nail, we call it. So it had a granuloma. And it's very uh, common that I see a lot of the patients come in with this very large, like a mass sitting on top of the nail. Obviously, I need to clean that up and then I have to take the nail out. So this is a very common nail procedure that is done on a daily basis. Next one is called to burn or not to burn the ingrown nail. So I already took the part of the nail out. Now I'm using a Q-tip and a chemical, we call them phenol, into this area to burn the, the root so that that part of the nail will not grow again. I use this stick to, as you can see, I'm working it in and out, kind of rotating to make sure I'm burning the root. As you can see, this little black thing coming out, that is actually the burning of the uh, matrix, which is the uh, root of the nail. And I use about uh, 30 seconds of the rotation uh, and, and the pushing in and out to uh, kill the root. And I do that three times. And, and obviously, after this, the patient has to soak it and take care of it to make sure it uh, nicely drain. Because this is a burn injury, so that it needs to drain. If it gets blocked, then it's very difficult for this to heal. So it's very important that the uh, patient uh, keeps taking care of it by soaking it cleaning the area out, utilizing Q-tip uh, on their own so that it will drain nicely and heal very nicely. And this procedure is very nice because it's very quick. It takes less than five minutes to do the whole procedure. It can be done in the office, uh, very minimal pain. Uh, the only issue is that it's not as cosmetic as the one I'm going to show you next, which is a surgical uh, matricectomy, which is to cut the whole thing out and use sutures to put it together so it looks a lot nicer, but it does take a little longer to heal, and I'll show you on the next video as to how that particular procedure. We're about halfway through my favorite ingrown nail procedures. If you've enjoyed this video so far or learned something new, be sure to leave the word Dr. Kim Reacts in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. So this is a uh, uh, third and final video on this ingrown nail procedures. This is a surgical matricectomy, we call it, because I use a knife. I sterilize the whole area, and I really cut out the either side of the nail, this particular case, and then I put sutures around it to close it nicely. If you look at this carefully, I'm putting sutures around it because the beauty of this procedure is that it makes the nail look very, very cosmetic afterward. Uh, because this, the, the chemical matricectomy, we call them phenol matricectomy, we use a chemical to burn the area. And most of the time it looks very nice, but it does not look as nice as this one. 
the problem with this procedure, however, it, it is more involved, obviously. It takes longer to do because you have to um, put the sutures on. Uh, on top of that, we have to keep this area dry for about a week until the sutures come out. It will tend to be a little bit more painful because it's a little bit more involved procedure. So cosmetically it looks nicer, but it takes a little bit of more care after the procedure to make it look nice because you have to keep it dry. The other hand, the chemical or phenometrosecomy, you don't have to keep it dry. You soak it starting right away the day after, and it takes less uh, energy to take care of that problem. Uh, the surgical metrosecomy, even though it looks very nice, it does take a little longer to get better. Uh, you may have to take some time off from work because it's hard to uh, work with the sutures on, and if you um, and move around a lot or if you go somewhere or if you get this you know sweat get into the area you may get infections so you have to be a little bit more um, scheduled and a little bit more uh, thought through before you have the metrosectomy done uh, on especially the surgical metrosectomy so there's a pros and cons of either way uh, most people tend to do more uh, uh, chemical or phenometrosecomy because it's a lot easier uh, for you to deal with afterward but cosmetically if you're uh, Want your nails to look really beautiful and nice, then you may have to take about a week off from work and doing things and stay off and keeping it dry is very important for this particular procedure. Be sure to like this video if you found it interesting or learned something new. If you think someone else will enjoy it, be sure to send it to them. I post videos just like this one every week, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels including Instagram and Facebook to stay updated on everything happening on my channel. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, and encourage others today.